Morning, everyone. Let's do uh, another video watch list. So, MDR was the play yesterday. Um, yesterday, I was shorting the $3 line. Uh, the reason why I was interested in the $3 mark was because not only was that kind of like a whole number mark, that was kind of where um, there was some resistance earlier in pre-market. So I was basically just shorting. I think it was 298 is what I got. And then I looked away for one second and then I come back and I see that it's down 20 cents. I covered 20 cents on 5,000 shares. I made my $1,000 and that was it for the day. So I mean, as long as you have really good entries and as long as you are patient, you could make all your money in one trade. So anyway, if you look at this stock uh, continuing throughout the day, uh, over here, rejected VWAP again. So, I mean, in a perfect world, I was looking for a pop towards 280 to reshort, but instead I could have just taken a starter on the VWAP project, but I obviously wouldn't have made it this low. But this is kind of just confirmed that um, anytime it seems like it has positive news, they sell into it. So what I'm looking for on this one today is a pop towards 230. Excuse me, 226 to 230. 230 is like the psychological number. And playing to add around this 250 area. I got 250 by previous support becomes resistance. So <clears throat> in a perfect world, I have some fantasy orders here for about, I would say a quarter of my size. Maybe if it gets over here, I'll add to, you know, another quarter of my size. And then if it confirms, I'll go to full size. But I mean, this stock is already confirmed that it's on backside. So all we need is a fucking pop to get in. I would not chase weakness here. If this goes red, I would not chase it because there's not really much meat on the bone left. So we just need to wait for a pop and let's set our orders around here. Let's set our orders around there. BNGO. So I yesterday was waiting for this to kind of pop up higher, um, but I think it had like an offering like at 85 cents or something fucking ridiculous. Uh, in any case, I tried to bounce a little bit, didn't really have much action. so. I mean, this is a little bit of a subpar setup. I don't really love this setup, but what I see is a resistance level around 130 again. So I would have some orders around 130. And again, I would add around 150, not because there's a support that turned into resistance, but remember, whole and half dollar marks are psychological areas. So 150 is automatically going to be a resistance because of that. So 130 to 150, uh, if we execute it perfectly, it should give us a 140 average and we cover around 120. BIMI. So this stock is really fucking annoying because as you could tell, it could fucking spike up on air and the chat rooms love it. The pump and dump people love it uh, because as soon as they put out like a buy alert, as soon as they have their thousands of fucking followers following them, the shit spikes up, they sell and then it fucking takes like this. So uh, on this setup, on this specific stock, you could not be using size. And the reason why you can't be used in size is because it could turn on a dime, it could be pumped on a dime, and you just don't want to be caught in that mess. So for me personally, I have two plans on this in the morning. Plan number one is a push towards seven, red to green, and reject for a short, which seems like the highly likely option so far. Or if you see yesterday, this 740 to 750 level, was acting as resistance a couple times one two maybe three so if it pops towards the 740 level and rejects that's going to be the area so push towards seven reject or push towards 740 reject anything above eight dollars just get the hell out of there and you never know with these stocks they could open up at six and then go to eight so just be careful use less size eton i mean i was looking at the stock it is a hundred million market cap it is easy to borrow there's not much meat on the bone. I really don't see an edge in shorting this. So, I mean, for long bias traders, this might be a possible good trade. But for me personally, on the short side, it does not fit my niche. It does not fit the criteria of stocks I'm looking for. So I am just going to avoid it. Um, looking around, TROV just popped up. Let me see what the, the fuck. All right, so now that this new stock popped up, let's go through my process of seeing how I research, right? So. TROV, 6 million float, 6 million market cap. Looks like anytime it pops, it fails. Let me get the 
Fundamentals. Four two four B three. They have an S one with an effect. Let's just double check. Okay. Their S one is for one point six million shares. Not that much, but let's see. Is it October yet? Yeah, it's October. So 380 per shares where they have some warrants. I don't think it's gonna get that high. So uh, something like this, what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at the daily chart. I see resistance around 184, call it two bucks is another one, and then 210. So on something like this, 184, I could just round that up to two. So on something like this, I'm looking for a rejection of $2. Uh, I want to see this kind of push towards that level and pull back. Um, let me just double check the news. Positive response to treatment in phase 1B2 trial, blah, blah, blah. So I mean, something like this is, uh, I could see that the float is low. I could see that they have some possible dilution. Uh, I could see that daily chart likes to push and fail 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 so this is kind of like a candidate for a day one uh pullback so ideally really 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 want to see this go towards two and 210 because at that point not only will it have a lot of resistance it'll have a lot of bag holders that want to dump too so let's kind of see what this thing does um it should be one of the main stocks in play today because nothing else is moving. So let's see what happens.